Look at this thing. It's got this skull on the front of it. Who makes this? My name is Burp and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. <laughs> yeah, baby. It's Five Thrift Store Friday. It's my favorite day of the week. We're going to be hitting up five big thrift stores, doing a little vintage toy hunting, and hopefully we can score some vintage toys today. So we're going to head into Thrift Giant first. I'm going to cross my fingers and pray. Pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. All right, guys, let's see. What do we got? What's this? Uh, looks like some frogs. Oh, it's a leapfrog. Now we got Gamora. Little Thai beanie baby. Oh, looky, looky. It's our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Looks like we've got a NASCAR with a broken wheel. We've got this elephant. And we've got like a home... For a gecko or something backyard safari night and day habitat all right oh dang look at the size of that t-rex let's go check him out oh wow look at this dude oh, he's got like a rubber head oh wow that is pretty impressive yeah i like this rubber head that he i've never seen one like this i've seen the t-rexes Hmm. All right, I'm gonna pick him up. I don't know if I'm gonna get him, but he's pretty cool. 10 bucks. What? No, this is like $4.99. <laughs> oh my God, these figures here with the masks, the Koof masks, crap. Speaking of T-Rex, that's a cool one. I think these are the ones that you can get like at Hobby Lobby. They're like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. And we might grab him. And what's this? Uh, some sort of Power Ranger, I think. Some sort of Zord, right? We got Soups. What's down here? We got this Stegosaurus. That's a different one. I haven't seen that one before. We got a couple of Batmans. Oh, that's a cool looking Spider-Man. He's got some articulation. Yeah, this dude is actually real sweet, man. He's got lots of articulation at the knees, the elbows, the wrists. Yeah, let's definitely grab him. He does have a broken finger, but that's okay. Oh, we got a big box of toys. Let's see, what do we got on top here? Oh, there's a Mandalorian right there. There's a Spider-Man. Yeah, those are cool. Oh, there's a Hulk. Let's see, what do we got on this side? There's a, there's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle right there. They went 40 bucks for this big old box though. It's outside my budget today, man. Maybe if it were packed full of 80 toys, 80s toys, I would, uh, I'd go in the hole over it, <laughs> but like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do, I don't wanna do 40 bucks, not today. Hey, what's this, Slapjack? Jack is the alien trying to invade our solar system. You can slap Jack, collect all the cards. Oh, Slapjack, all right. What's this back here? Hercules. Oh. It says Hercules on it. It's like a type of plane that would go with all those little green army men. That's kind of cool. Uh, propellers are kind of busted up though. Check out this genie looking dude. What's he from? Is that like from Aladdin or something like that? He's definitely neat looking. It's our boy Buzz. He's got his head on backwards. Let me fix you, Buzzy. Flexion maneuvers all we've got. Full speed ahead. All right. Speaking of Buzz, here's his bigger brother. Buzz. Oh, look at this horse. That's kind of cool, man. I think I might actually get him because I don't have any black horses for my Mego Planet of the Eight figures. And he, he feels older too. Like, I don't know. There's no markings on him. I don't know who makes him. 
but I think I'm gonna grab him. Oh, check out this crate monster. Oh, he's cool. I might actually pick this dude up. I have a crate monster at the house and he needs a buddy. All right, guys, we got ourselves a sweet little haul and I got some exciting news. I was able to get the TMNT. I'll explain more in the car when we do a little show and tell. All right, guys, so here's what we picked up. We got this cool ass Spider-Man. He's got multiple points of articulation. He's got a voice box as well. He's got some batteries in the back and he's got this little button that when you press on him, he actually talks. I'm gonna have to put some batteries in him. Actually, he's not gonna stand up there. I'm gonna have to put some batteries in him and give him a try and make sure he actually works. If not, he's still a cool piece. I do love me some Spider-Man, so he will probably be staying in my personal collection, although I might uh, trade him or flip him down the road. I also got this crate creature. I think these things are cool. Um, bring him over here into the light. Um, like I said, I've got one at the house and he's actually in his crate and it's the only one that I have. So this one here is dressed up like in a little dragon outfit. So he's kind of neat. I like his orange step, redheaded stepchild uh, beard that he's got going on. And uh, he's just kind of, kind of crazy looking. I love it. And then last, but certainly not least, well, this isn't actually last. I got one more thing to show you. I did get this TMNT Leonardo in his uh, uh, samurai warrior outfit. So how cool is this? I actually got him for a buck 59. So what happened was I asked one of the uh, employees that were working there, she was walking by and I said, hey, I said, uh, I really want just this one figure that's in this box and I pointed to it. And I was like, is there any way that I could just buy this one figure? And she's like, yeah, she's like, you could uh, take it out and we'll put a price tag on it. And I was like, sweet. So she ended up like pulling it out of the box and she stuck this $1.59 tag on it. How cool is that? So I got me some vintage TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, man. I am stoked. What an awesome score. Then the last thing I picked up was this horse. So I got him for a buck 99. And uh, like I said, I don't have any black horses for my Planet of the Ape figures. So I figured, let's get him over here in the light. So I figured, uh, yeah, why not? You know, he, uh, I don't know, he feels older. Uh, maybe you guys can help me out. There's no markings on him. Maybe somebody knows. Maybe Pony Girl knows. Pony Girl seems to know quite a bit about ponies. So if you're watching right now, Pony Girl, do you know who makes this particular horse? So I would be very, very grateful and very curious to find out. Well, Five Thrift Store Friday is starting off on the right foot. I'm stoked. I'm really excited and super awesome. It's just, I'm so happy that they let me buy this guy all by himself. So up next, we're gonna head on over to Goody Wheel to see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at the Goody Wheel. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, Goodwill. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray that those vintage Goodwill gobs are good to me today. All right, well, what do we got in the glass case? That looks like a Skylanders plastic case. And we got some games over here. All right, guys. Let's go check these shelves, see if there's some vintage toys on the shelves for us. All right, well, what do we got? What's this? Collector's egg, Easter fantasy. It's kind of cute. A baby doll back here. Oh, look at this one. It's like a baby Einstein. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is so funny. It's baby Einstein. E equals MC squared. What's this here? Oh, like a little dino car, little monster truck sort of thing. Anything else? We got Rusties from Cars. There's a horse. And I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, what's this? Looks like we got a, a Batmobile. I actually 
had this, I sold it. It's a remote control car and I actually had the remote. All right, anything over here in plushy land? Soccer shots. I'm not seeing anything in the plushes. Oh, we've got a biker scout mask. Here's one of those electric globes. I think like you put your battery in it and you touch it and like the electricity goes all around, I think. I don't know if it works though. All right guys, I grabbed a couple of scores. Let's get in the car, do a little show and tell and I'll explain why I got these things. All right, first up, I got this chintzy little dinosaur monster truck. He's uh, His axle is like a log or something, like a big piece of wood. You've got the T-Rex, and then you got the, the monster truck wheels. And the reason I got this is it's just so unique looking. I have never seen a toy that looked like this or felt like this. It's, it's definitely like cheapy plastic. But I think it's really cool. It's got very vibrant colors. I think it would make just a really awesome display piece. And, uh, you know, I recently, not too long ago, found some Fred Flintstone, uh, uh, vintage Flintstone, like, little train toys or something like that from the 70s. And uh, I thought he might look good next to them. So I got this, and then I also grabbed this. We're gonna test this out today. I'm gonna get some batteries for it, but we'll test it today to see if it actually works. All right, up next, Thrift Shitty, baby. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at the infamous Thrift City. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed. We're gonna pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. We're gonna get in here. We're gonna rummage through some bags. We're gonna check the shelves we're gonna check the glass case and we're gonna pull out an amazing score let's do it all right well here's the bags i got a little charlie brown i've seen these at hallmark these itty bitties puzzle mini mouse this looks like all plush stuff up here hey this looks like the costume that our crate creature is wearing <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm not seeing anything there. Because what are these lunch boxes? Get anything down below? Uh, like a table saw. Or, I don't know, a band saw. I don't know what that is. I'm not a handyman. All right, let's check these shelves. Ooh, look at this thing. It's got this skull on the front of it. Who makes this? It's not even on sense. It's actually a really cool car. It's got the little control board right there. Over here in the sense high tech. Right, so I just kind of peeled this sticker back a little bit. Yeah, it was made by Kenner in 1991, so we're probably gonna get it. I'm thinking it has something to do with the Terminator. And then we got the T here. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. All right, well, I did find it on eBay. It is a Terminator 2 mobile assault vehicle. If it had the rocket, the missile here, it recently sold for almost 40 bucks. So we can get it for 99 cents. So I'm definitely grabbing it. All right, well, what else do we got? What's this dude here? Like a sea serpent. Anything down here? Got a game called Jitters. That looks old. Yeah, Milton Bradley, 1986. And what's this? Oh, we got a surface to air gun. Anything here in plushy land? What is this, like a Grateful Dead bear? <laughs> and then we've got this big old bulldog. Look at this guy, he looks mean. And what else, what else? Oh, we've got, uh, I think that's, I think that's Chip, right? From Chippendale. Care Bear. Is this a new one? Or is this an older one? He talks. Ah, oh, he's from 2015. Man, I wish he was vintage. That would be cool, it's still cool. 
Maybe he's worth something. I'll look him up. All right, so here's the good news and the bad news with this guy. The good news is that they only want 99 cents for him. The bad news is he only sells for about five bucks. So I was kind of hoping maybe he was selling for like $20. I'd be like, oh man, for 99 cents? I would totally do that. You know, flip it on eBay, resell it on Facebook Marketplace, but we're gonna pass on it. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. Look at this thing. This is from 1993. The Great Freight Train by Tommy Toys. I don't know if it's all there. It's probably worth something, but that's a big item to try to ship and try to sell something like that on Facebook Marketplace. Hmm, I'll think about it. All right, what do we got in the glass case? There's an ATV. It says there's moose in the, there's a moose in the house. Must be a card game. Some baby dolls. There's a die cast car. But that's about it. All right, guys, well, we got a little nostalgic 90s. We'll do a show and tell in the car, but this is cool. We got a TMNT. We got a Terminator 2 vehicle. We got some older stuff today. That's good. Keep the vintage coming. All right, let's get in the car and do some show and tell. All right, my friends, you are looking at a 1991, a Kenner 1991 Terminator 2 mobile assault vehicle. This thing is so cool. It's in pretty good shape. I got it for a dollar. Man, and it's worth recently sold for as high as like $38 and some odd cents. And there were some other ones that sold around $25. But uh, I'm going to have to see if I can get the missile off of eBay. The missile's probably like 25 bucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but uh, yeah, this is really cool. And this just might start me down a new line of toys. I'm going to have to look into these Terminator 2 toys from the 90s because I'm definitely gonna need a driver for the vehicle. Man, this five thrift store Friday is turning out to be pretty freaking awesome. So up next, we're gonna head on over to Old Thrifty Pants on the other side of town, Thrift Giant, and we're gonna keep our fingers crossed. I'll do all that when I get there, but we're gonna head over there and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at Old Thrifty Pants. Now we get to say, keep our fingers crossed and pray that those vintage Thrift store gods are good to me today. Hey, check out this truck. I've seen this thing here before. I like the colors on it. My favorite color is yellow, actually. I don't know if I'd ever get a yellow vehicle necessarily. I'd have to be really rich and it would have to be like, you know, one of my 10 cars or something like that. So, all right guys, well, let's head in here and see what they got. All right, let's see what they got over here. What's this guy? Uh, he probably goes with that other big dinosaur we saw earlier today. Actually, maybe not. He doesn't have a rubber face. And I'm not really seeing anything else. Looks like we might have an Iron Man right here. A Stormtrooper, a First Order Stormtrooper. I don't like those Stormtroopers. I just think their helmets are ugly. Got one of these... Uh, Knock off MLPs. Man, this thing is muscular. Look at this thing. Hey, hey do you work out? Because <laughs> it would appear that way. What's this thing? It says, uh, Primeco? I don't know. Never heard of it. Oh, here's another horse right here. They're actually kind of cool. They're almost like kind of bootleggy, you know? And we got a Wii Dance Dance Revolution a panda cube and some nerf guns and stuff what's this right here nothing All right, guys well that was the first place we got busted at today not too bad three for four all right last up we got the goody wheel we're gonna finish strong at the goody wheel so let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got all right, my friends, we are here. We are at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? <laughs> I love saying that. Everybody say it with me right now. 
What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? I know you just said it. <laughs> Comment below with, I just said it, burp. All right, we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray that those vintage Goodwill gobs are good to me today and that we finish strong. But don't forget, we still have to go test out the electric globe. So we'll do that back at the bunker later. But in the meantime, let's see what these guys got for us. We got a DVD sports game. NCAA basketball, that's interesting. And then, uh, Gone with the Wind, we got a Holiday Barbie. All right, I'm gonna have to look up that NCAA game. It's still in the packaging. Never seen it or heard of it before. Could be worth something, could be a gold mine. I don't know, could be worth nothing. But let's check the shelves. Oh, look at this. Oh, let me fix your head, Rex. We've got Rex from Toy Story. Got some plushies up here. What is this, like a cat in a hat? No, <laughs> it's Santa Claus, actually. All right, let's see, what do we got on the shelves? Got some sort of jet fighter. We got a horn. Whoops. <laughs> that was loud. All right. And looks like we got a box of army men. Military forces. This looks like it was part of the Tin Man. He's got a glass of wine and some golf clubs. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything else. What's this? Game of Thrones. Mega Constructs. Five bucks. Oh, let's see if it's worth something. Although, it's pretty cool. It only sells for like eight to twelve dollars and they want five for it. So we'll be putting it back on the shelf and leave it for someone else. Some kid to come along and get and play with and have a good time with it. Hey, check it out. It's the mouse from Dumbo. It's a ceramic though. Looks like it might be homemade. Someone did a good job with it. Is this supposed to be like Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> and then this is cute for a little wall hanger. We even have some Pinkie Pie over here. All right, guys, busted. The NCAA game, only worth about eight bucks. All right, well, let's do this. Let's head back to the bunker and let's see if we can get this electric globe to light up. It'd be really cool if it does. I'll see you back there. All right, guys, we're back at the bunker and we've got this uh, little electric globe thingy. I've got some batteries in it. Let's test it and see if it works. All right, well, let's turn this thing on. Ooh, check that out. Look, that is cool. Don't cross the streams. Let's actually, let's take this in the dark and look at it uh, with no lights on and I'm sure it'll be a lot more magnificent with no lights. All right, here we are in the darkness of the night. Let's turn this guy on. Ooh, purdy. It's so purdy. Yeah, that is cool, man. Look at that. That is really awesome. It's like a, it's like a Tesla tower, you know? It almost looks like it's making little butterflies. Am I seeing things? Or are those like little butterflies that it's creating or birds or something? That is wild. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, do me a favor and smash that like button. That really helps me out. It helps my channel grow. I put a lot of hard work into creating these videos for you. So if you could just help me grow by hitting the like button, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and over 500 videos on the channel that you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.